Hey everyone, Draker here, and I'll be casting a one versus one today on Lost Temple. Now we are here with Tarson as the Red Terran on the uh, six o'clock spawn, and on the uh, left spawn here um, we got Sugosu as the Green Protoss. Now I haven't seen Sugosu play in a while, um, so hopefully this is uh, really good. I mean, I don't. I think this is one of his first matches back. I could be wrong, though, but I haven't rarely seen anything with him or him at any tournaments. So, we'll see how things go. Um, as we do have, uh, Pylon is going over here by the, kind of by the choke, as he is now sending out his probe to scout around and see what's going on. We do have Tarson uh, putting a supply depot in the back here. Which is uh, not too common to do at the start. Usually you want to get your wall off as quick as possible before you start placing supply depots in random areas to scout uh, stuff on the side. Um, but yeah, now we do have uh, Suguso, um, Sugu, uh, wow, Sugosu, <laughs> I'm going to screw up that name a lot, uh, scouting uh, the far ends of the map, so he's not going to be able to uh, find his opponent's base just yet. Now we do have uh, Barracks on the way at 13 supply um, for um, Tarson, as he's not even going to bother walling off, as well as a gateway on the way for Sugosu um, at 13 supply as well. And neither one of them have even got, actually, no, Tarson is now getting his refinery so we probably might see some early reapers uh, for some harass and scouting on the field um, very quickly and uh, now we do finally have an assimilator on the way for Sugosu um, probably as soon as that gateway is done um, we might see a second gateway as he did get the gas a little late or we might uh, he might just start chrono boosting out some zealots and then he'll probably get a cybernetics core and then go to stalkers and warp gate uh, the usual openings for protoss as the scouts now do pass each other uh, Tarson it looks like he is going to go to the right spawn first for scouting Sugosu does finally uh, scout the base of Tarson and I don't know what he's planning on doing. It looks like he's just scouting around, seeing what's up as Tarson is now spreading out his supply depots uh, to keep um, some far far vision there on his base. As we do now have a Marine out here from Darson, Tarson, and he is now micring that like crazy to try killing that probe as the probe now just has 10 health left, uh, half life. Do have a little harass going on here from Tarson on the uh, pylon here of Sugosu uh, as, as a probe does come to defend against that. We do have a second assimilator on the way here from Sugosu um, as a cybernetic score is finishing so we're definitely going to see some stalkers probably on the way as that stalker is on cue. He's not even going to bother getting zealots on the field. He's just going for quick stalkers as far <laughs> quick as we can as we do now have a marine here just following this probe. Uh, <laughs> he really wants to kill that probe. Now we do have um, Warpgate is also researched on the way. Now we also have a factory on the way as well as the second uh, refinery on the way for Tarson. So we might be seeing a 1-1-1 build as soon as this factory is done. Won't be surprised if he goes right into um, Stargate to get the uh, Metavax and do the very uh, common um, OP MMM ball. Now we also uh, have, there's a starport um, on the way here for Tarson, um, as it looks like Tarson was able to kill that probe. Uh, so we do have that starport is on the way on queue there by Tarson, so we definitely are going to see some um, medivacs on the way as early uh, as that gets finished. Um, as I'm surprised he hasn't built a reactor yet on either the factory or the barracks. Usually you want to build a reactor, so by the time the starport's done you can switch them and then start uh, massing medivacs two at a time. As we do have a Hellion out on the field now. Looks like he's going to try killing some uh, probes in Sugosu's base. And that's one thing that can force uh, uh, a quick good game um, against Protoss. If you can get a bunch of Hellions on the field and um, the Protoss player does not have anything to defend against as he does see that and he is blocking off. Look at that wall creation there with the probes. Um, as that Stalker is now going to come back and probably pick off the Hellion as he is able to kill a couple probes there. He managed to kill another probe there. A bunch of probes dying there as um, Tarson is just uh, now going to do a bunch of harass uh, here with that one Hellion, which I'm very surprised. Forcing Sugosu to pull off all a bunch of probes from the mineral line, but he decided to go back and gathering minerals as he's still going to lose some one uh, lose probes one by one as that Hellion is going to escape with 15 life left. Now we do have Cloaking Field on the way as well as a Banshee on the way. So the Cloaking for a Banshee is on the way. That's going to be a great uh, um, harass there by Tarson as soon as that cloaking's done that Banshee's going to do a ton of um, 
kills at the mineral line, which is exactly what he wants to do. Now, we do have a bunker coming in place here by Tarson. He's looking to get some um, defense up uh, in case of any uh, early pressure here by Sugosu, as we probably won't. Uh, we also have an observer already on the field by Tarson. He's going right for DTs. Um, uh, Pro by uh, Sugosu, sorry, not uh, obviously Tarzan as he's tearing. Now we do have uh, going right to Dark Templar um, as the Dark Shrine is, wow, right in front of my, f where is the Dark Shrine? Oh, wow, we have Proxy over here by the um, um, Rich Mineral Field. He's trying to keep this hidden uh, from Tarzan as it's going to be great play there as Tarzan's going to have no clue that those Dark Templars are on the way. So we're going to see some mass Dark Templars uh, very shortly. Uh, now we do have Siege Tanks on the way. Um, here for Tarson as well as the second command center so he is looking to take over uh, his natural um, to give him some sort of an economic lead here as this observer is going to be able to see everything that is going on and looks like he does see as the scan does go off and that observer is going to die um, but uh, Tarson needs to g um, get some missile turrets up or something as those dark templars are going to be coming out um, very shortly as we do have two now warping in at the moment siege tech is just about halfway done as the first siege tank does get on the field now, it looks like he decided to salvage that bunker for some reason. I uh, mustn't wanted the mineral stuff. Now, we do have a drop coming here from Zagosu, and they are going to be the Dark Templars. Dark Templars are now on the field, uh, and Tar uh, Tarson should have noticed that as the scan probably is going to go down. As those SCVs are now getting uh, destroyed, as there's not enough minerals for a scan. Wow, those SCVs are going to get picked off like crazy as Tarson is forced to pull all his units away from his main base and micro them around until he's got enough minerals for a scan. Uh, as an engineer, Bay is also on the way as well as the second barracks. Now we do have um, Raven on the way for detection for Tarson, but it, nothing's going to be on the field um, as we do have now have enough minerals for a scan as the scan does go off, and but the damage is done. Uh, that was a great play there from Sugosu, um, keeping that Tark Shrine far out there as well as the Twilight Council with Blink researching on the way, but he prevented Tarson for a cool, long time from mining minerals on his mineral field. That's going to give him a huge advantage um, to mid-game there. As Tarson is now finally um, gathering resources again, uh, and he did lose a few SCVs there as well as Marines, so uh, the damage is done. Definitely great play there by Sugosu, as there is another observer on the field that was spotted there by Tarson, as there is now a Raven on the field for detection as well as an engineering base so we should be seeing some missile turrets go up uh, fairly shortly now we do have an immortal on the way uh, here for Sugosu as well as Blink is just about done we also have the second Nexus um, uh, here uh, as we do have a Banshee is trying to do some harass, but it's just not enough. And he does now spot the Dark Shrine. This is going to be huge as he's going to be able to kill that pylon, deactivating the Dark Shrine, and might be able to prevent that blink from uh, getting built. As, uh, it's like I was saying, Sugosu is now taking his natural. Um, and he is going to have it before Tarson, as Tarson is, for some reason, building SCVs. Oh, uh, he's building SCVs at both his command centers, um, trying to fully saturate his main base before he uh, moves out to take, um, his natural. Now we do have, uh... Tarson here has his Banshee is cloaked, managed to take out that pylon, so the Twilight Council um, and Dark Shrine is unpowered, but the Blink was able to get research, so that's one uh, good thing there for Suguso, is he's going to need that Blink um, against the MMM ball that Tarson is uh, coming out with. Being able to Blink away, uh, if he can micro that like crazy, you can do a ton of damage with just a handful of uh, Stalkers. Um, I've I've seen freaking I know he's not we're going against the Zerg, but I've seen a handful of like th four to five stalkers take out about 25 Zerglings just by um straight up microing. Is if you can do some killer microing, um you're, you're golden. Now we do have Tarson uh, is spotted by Sugosu as he might lose that dropship full of units if he loses those. Oh no, is he only man? Wow, that's a huge loss there by Tarson. Only managed to drop a couple of Marines as those stalkers did pick off all those Marines. Now we do have an observer here spotting that one other marine we have observers everywhere here by um sugosu it's great placement so he has a keep he has an eye on everything as tarson does have uh one zel naga tower and has a hellion just kind of chilling here as he should push in and take that zel naga tower but he's deciding not to now we do have tarson is finally now uh taking his natural as he does have a good army f um, force here to uh defend against any pressure by sugosu as he is now transferring some SEVs to saturate that mineral field now we do have tier one um infantry weapons on the way as well as three more barracks for tarson so he's definitely going to ground units 
as well, I, I shouldn't say ground units. He's definitely going to mass marines um, with siege tanks, which is pretty powerful against uh, Protoss. Um, now we do have three more gateways on the way, as well as Templar chiefs and an, um, another Twilight Council for Sugusu, as uh, Tarson was able to finish off all those buildings over here at the high yield. Um, so we do have also a Psy Storm now um, is on the way for Sugosu, so we're definitely going to see some um, high Templars on the field. Um, and as that Twilight Council finishes, oh wow, we have a little battle going on here with that Banshee, and he didn't manage to do anything as uh, those Stalkers destroyed that Banshee. Now we do have a little push coming in here from Sugosu uh, with Observer right to the natural, but there's tons of sea tanks on the field as he's going to be able to push Sugosu back. Uh, so, so, ooh, wow, that is just out of range there. Um, now he blinks up on the high ground, so he's going to be able to pick off a bunch of units in this refinery here, um, as Tarson does notice that, and he is now pushing his siege tanks, and he should be able to do some splash damage. Yes, he is going to be able to um, do some damage on those stalkers, but um, Sugosu is going to be able to take out that refinery. So the damage is done, and now he's just going to pull back those stalkers, most likely blink away and uh, no he's just going to chill up there as these siege tanks are going to have free reign um, on those stalkers as he just now um, blinks away. Now we have two more gateways on the way for Sugusu, uh, as well as an immortal. As in two more high templars are getting warped, or two um, high templars are now getting warped in. Now we do have, uh, wow, um, Kaidrin, uh, Kaidrin. I can never pronounce that. So yeah, you can read it. Emily, um, on the way for the high templars, as well as charge upgrade on the way. Now we do have a huge push here from Tarson, looking to do some damage um, to Sugusu, but Sugusu is going to clearly see what's coming as he is now warped in a bunch more units um, and pushing out with his army to prevent any damage um, any attack onto his natural and he's actually deciding to push back to the small choke point here um, of his natural as he does warp in two more zealots uh, now we do have some missile turrets are getting um, built here by Zelnaga Tower so Tarson is going to look up to set up base um, with his units as there is now push coming out from Sugosu and